Hi everybody, uh, I'm back again. Uh, in this video, I'm talking about what colors to pick out when you're picking out markers. Um, and the reason why I wanted to do this is because I see a lot of times on YouTube, people have um, marker drawings and um, the people who comment on it, they really like the drawings, so they ask, what colors do you use? And to me, that question is this, it's kind of silly because there's just so many colors out there and you know you know what colors that you like so I said you know what I'm going to suggest in this video is that um, when you are just starting off with markers um, and again everything uh, what I'm saying it applies to all markers not just Prismacolor markers but I don't have enough of any other kind of marker to show you, so I just use prism colors. But um, what I suggest you do is, um, if you can afford to, what you should do is get all your basic colors, like your your blues, reds, oranges, purples, um, greens, yellows, browns, whatever. And that might mean getting a pack of 12, the, the normal set, the first, the primary and secondary set. Get that set. And then go from there. So what you could do is um, if you're going to go and not get sets anymore, you can go to open the open stock sets and get uh, three different shades, values, whatever you call it. I'm not sure the actual term of the colors. So what I mean is... Um, Take, for example, a blue. Um, I just kind of had these blues out here, I mean, these colors out here to show you. They're not necessarily all match up, but I, I didn't, you know, once you're just looking at nothing, so I, I wanted you to look at something. But if you take uh, this blue here, for example, um, if you want, um, like, value, add value to your work, make it look more you know, professional, what you could do is instead of just having one blue, you can get a blue that's lighter than this, a lot lighter than this, and a lot darker than this. And that goes along with every color. So, like, for instance, the red. You Here you have this um, crimson red, and you might want something that's a lot darker than this red and a lot lighter than this red. So what you do is when you go to the store, you get colors that um, are either lighter or darker. So you're just not in the store picking out random colors and stuff. Or, I mean, you know, if you want to, you can pick up random colors. But the way that I suggested is um, getting uh, different shades of, like, the same colors and stuff. And the reason why I don't feel the need to say the specific colors is because a lot of times... Um, the colors don't necessarily make, won't make sense to what you need to do. And for example, what I mean is, um, here right here, this is, I know you can't see it because it's, um, my camera's really bad quality, but here I have poppy red, and I classify this poppy red as more of a, um, a orange color. So I don't want to put this into my red sections. So that's why in this video I don't want to say specific colors. But um, what you can do at is try your colors in the store on a piece of paper. You know, don't just buy the colors thinking that, hey, that's the color that I need. You want to pick out your colors, and then you can get that shade and you can get a shade darker and get a shade lighter than that color and it doesn't have to be too close together because these mark markers do blend um so that's just a, a suggestion of what you can do I, I don't see the point in asking a person you know what colors but um as you go further along with your art you will you will know what you like and what you don't like, so you don't have to be so broad with what you choose. Uh, I hope this is making sense. Uh, let me run through it again. Um, so again, pick a color, the, the basic color like a yellow. Uh, 
get a shade uh, lighter than that yellow that you're picking and get a shade that's darker than that color and uh, that will help you be able to blend very well and also if you're doing uh, the um, grayscales um, for example Prismacolors has grayscales and percentage um, I actually use all of the grayscales but it's definitely not necessary um, you can skip numbers so if you have a let's say a 20 percent gray marker I use French gray you don't need a 30 percent gray uh, gray marker you might want to get a 40 percent or a 50 percent it's however that you would like to do it but you don't necessarily need all colors now if you get the um, the gray packs then you know I suggest you do use all your colors you know just so you're not wasting any markers and um, that's it. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope I make somewhat some sense. If I don't, I apologize. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.